Hey everyone, hope you're all having a great day. Today I wanted to share some of the products that you've influenced me to buy. You know, I'm quite a picky person and I'm very particular about formulas and colors and textures and finishes and all of that. And I feel like you guys have really gotten to know my personal preferences over the years. So I wanted to share some products that I purchased because of you on your recommendations and stay tuned for part two of this video, which will be the products that influencers influenced me to buy. My two favorite eyeshadows were influenced by you guys. And the first is the, whoa, oh no. <laughs> Why do I turn into like a cartoon character when I drop things? This is the Vive Matte Eye Wand in the shade Camel. It is the only eyeshadow crayon that is my perfect formula that has performed beautifully on me. I find eyeshadow crayons to be so tricky. They're either way too creamy and the pigment just blends away or they're so creamy that they just become a creasy mess within a few minutes. Or on the other hand, a lot of times they can be so dry and sticky to be more long lasting that then they end up feeling kind of uncomfortable or looking kind of crusty on the lids. Not this one. This is the best eyeshadow crayon I've ever tried. It's pigmented and it's blendable, but it sets down quickly. So it's kind of in between a super soft creamy formula and a super dry long lasting one. And that perfect little Goldilocks formula is what this is and why I love it so much. I truly think that eyeshadow crayons are some of the trickiest formulas to nail and Vive did it. Camel's also my perfect warm brown. It's like this gorgeous desert, sandy kind of peachy brown shade. It really pops my eye color. It's so easy to apply. I can blend it with fingers. I can blend it with a brush. It's just phenomenal. So I'm definitely interested in picking up some of the other matte shades. My second favorite eyeshadow was also influenced by you guys and it's the Violette FR Yeux Paint in To Do. It's compared to the color of the Vive I want in Camel, I would say this is more like a rosy brown, whereas Camel is an orange orangey brown, both colors that have a different kind of warmth to them that really pop my blue eyes. And this formula is like the most pigmented liquid eyeshadow. You just need a tiny dot and that pigment just stretches and stretches and blends forever. So what's great about that is you can work on someone with lighter skin like me, or if you have darker skin, any kind of color in this range is gonna show up on you because the pigment is there. And once this bad boy sets, it does not budge, but it never feels dry or crusty. It's just an incredible formula. The darker ones in this range, I do struggle with a bit because I'm not the best at blending eyeshadow. But if I just use a little bit of this, I find that it is my perfect kind of day to night chocolate eye. And it just makes me feel, it makes me feel like myself. My favorite glitter topper of all time is the Urban Decay Moon Dust in Space Cowboy. And interestingly, I had held off purchasing this for quite a few years because I had ColourPop Ritz and they're basically the same product. But you know, now that I have Space Cowboy in my collection, this really is special. And I would purchase this over Ritz any day. My favorite way to use it actually is on top of Camel or To Do. It just makes any eyeshadow look magical and I don't find that there's fallout. I just press my finger into the pan and then press it on my eyes. It is beautiful. It has a very, very, very sheer, almost like peachy base and then lots of silver glitter, which is my favorite kind of color combination. A warm base with like an icy topper. Oh, so pretty. You guys had insisted for years, Ritz is pretty, but Space Cowboy is better and you were right. Honestly, I don't even know if you can get this anymore, but it's the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Amber Rush. And Amber Rush is just the best thing ever. It is a beautiful rose gold and it's got a gorgeous high shine finish. I do find that I need to use my fingers to get the kind of uh, finish that I like, which is that kind of high shine metallic, but you can totally pick it up with a brush and it performs beautifully. It's super smooth. It's like a medium pigment and I believe I believe it's under $10. So that is what Amber Rush looks like up close. It's just my perfect kind of peachy champagne color. And what's so great about this is it's darker than my skin color, so it does add beautiful definition. I don't usually like to wear eyeshadows that are lighter than my skin color, except for today where I'm wearing something sparkly, but I did a darker crease. I tried to find links for this and I could only find it at like Amazon and Walmart. So I'm so scared that they discontinued this because it's one of my all time favorites, most used eyeshadows. And time and time again, I just come back to it and it's such a winner. My favorite powder bronzer is the Tom Ford bronzer in Terra. And this is the perfect color for me. It's got a little bit of a rosiness to it, kind of like the Yue Paint in uh, To Do. So instead of being like a really golden warm bronzer or an orangey peachy bronzer or something kind of yellowy, I love that this just has a little bit of pink in there. It's very subtle. And on my skin, I have somewhere in between neutral and cool undertones. And on my slightly cool undertones, this looks so so natural. The formula is beautiful. It doesn't pick up a lot of powder. It's not chalky. It's easy to blend. It's super soft. And I believe this is the mini size as well, if you were wondering. People had been telling me about this product for a really long time and I didn't want to buy it because it's Tom Ford
board prices, you know, it's a little bit up there, but it is so worth it. I'm so glad I listened to you. Lastly, in the complexion section, we have the Vive Skin Dew. One subscriber in particular really went on about how great this was, but a few people have recommended it to me. And it was interesting because if I had just listened to the way that you guys described it, I would have purchased it immediately. But then I looked online, I looked on their Instagram page and it looked so glossy and sticky and it's called a dew. And so I was just a little bit put off by that because I don't like a glossy dewy cheek. I like something that sets down. For example, the highlighter I'm wearing right now, I can't even feel it on my face. It just feels totally like a satin matte finish. That's the way I like it because I do tend to get a little bit oily in my T-zone. You know, it's a hotter climate right now. I prefer things that just set down. I should have just listened to your recommendation because this actually weirdly does sit down even though it first goes on your skin like an almost sticky like marshmallowy kind of gel it is blindingly metallic at first but when you start blending it out it makes for the most gorgeous luminous yet skin like finish you can't see any visible glitter or shimmer particles on the skin but it really does look like you have this gorgeous gloss even though it sets down i would say it takes about five minutes to set down so if you feel your face and it's sticky give it a little bit of time it does set and that's why i absolutely absolutely love it. I think at this point in my life, I would have to say this is a tie for my number one favorite highlighter. This and the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in three. So thank you so much for recommending this. I love it. And by the way, if you're sensitive to scents, this does have a bit of a like marshmallow smell or a vanilla smell. I personally love it. Um, but just a heads up if you don't like things that are fragranced. Unsurprisingly, the whole rest of the video is lip products because those are the ones I'm the pickiest about. And I feel like you guys just hit, what am I trying to say? I was like, hit the nail on the head, hit, knocked it out of the park. I was going to say, nailed it on the park. That, that doesn't make sense. Okay. The whole rest of the video is just lip products. And you know, I'm super picky about my lip formulas and colors and textures and all of that. And it just goes to show how well you know me because I have so many here that I absolutely adore on your recommendation. One of my all-time favorite lip liners is the Victoria Beckham Lip Definer in O2. And I'm going to start by saying, I know sometimes people get annoyed when I talk about Victoria Beckham because people feel like any celebrity beauty brand is just a cash grab or Victoria Beckham is just so overpriced. But I personally really love Victoria Victoria Beckham's products. In fact, I'll leave my brand review on the screen above where I go more in depth about, you know, my feelings about the brand and I review a lot of products. I don't think that this is like the most groundbreaking formula you'll ever try. It is a basic pencil lip liner formula, but then there's a creaminess to it that I really appreciate. But it's not going to knock your socks off in terms of being like an innovative lip liner formula. But I do love this formula because it is creamy for a pencil, but this color is also perfect for me. There's something about the creaminess in this formula that just makes it really easy to glide on the lips and it kind of fills them in almost. So it's really easy to overline your lips. And I don't find that it's super drying. It does set down. So it's more of a long wearing formula. And let me show you compared to another lip liner I'm loving right now. So this is Victoria Beckham O2 right here. You can see it's a little bit warmer. Whereas Tower 28 work of art has more of a cool toned quality to it, like a little bit more of a contour shade. So it just depends what kind of color comes combination I'm going for that day. When I'm doing some kind of a warm lip, this is usually what I'm reaching for. Someone recently recommended the Catrice lip jams to me on Instagram and they're really, really good. These are essentially a clear liquid lip balm lip gloss formula that comes in a range of different scents, which I really enjoy. You know, one of the reasons I love the In Beauty Lip Glazes so much is because they come in so many different scents and I'm just such a sucker for like a nostalgic scent experience. And I got the shades or the scents straight baby and I like you very much. I like you very much is definitely my favorite. It just has a really nice kind of berry jam smell, but it's not too strong. And then straw baby has a strawberry smell, which is really nice. They're both a little bit on the artificial side, I will say, but I think it's great. They feel like a true liquid lip balm formula. They are thick and cushiony. Mm, they just feel so damn good on the lips, but they're buttery. So instead of being something with more like a tacky kind of grip, to it. They're a formula that's cushiony and thick, but more buttery. So if you like something that's like on the thicker side, but you want something that still feels a little bit more lightweight that has some slip to it, these are great. I mean, honestly, like save your money. If you just want a clear gloss, get something like this that's only a few bucks and comes in some really nice scents. A product that's newer to me that you guys recommended is the Galactic Jello Gloss Balm. And oh my God, this shit is fire. It's so good. It's basically just like, uh oh, my cap kind of broke. Uh, one second. Okay. 
It's basically like a super thick, cushiony, melty lip balm with a pretty good amount of pigment in a chapstick form. And it smells to me like almost sour grape candy. It's really nostalgic and fun. Although the website says pink lemonade, but both my partner John and I do not smell pink lemonade anywhere in these. But I personally really like the scent, so I think it's fun. And they do get messy around the sides because they are a melty lip product. They're basically like the Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss lipstick balms. But instead of the Happy Kiss formula, which is more on the like grippy, slightly tacky, more long lasting side, this has a little grip to it, but also a little buttery quality to it. So if you thought the Happy Kiss was a little sticky and you wanted something a little more buttery, then these could be great because they're still super thick thick and nourishing and they're hydrating on the lips. They come in a range of like sheer flushes of color and they also have a few shades that are kind of more like nude or skin color shades. Absolutely incredible formula. I'd actually never heard of Girlactic until someone told me that they felt very confident I would love these. And so I bought one of them, fell head over heels in love with it. I created an Instagram reel reviewing it. Then the brand said that they would send me all of the colors. So then I did another Instagram reel and then I fell in love with so many products from this PR package they sent me that then I placed another order and now I'm gonna do a huge brand review on Girlactic. And I'm super excited because I'll be doing a giveaway on that Girlactic brand review. The brand is gonna give away a um, $100 gift card. So stay tuned for that video. But yeah, I've tried so many products from Girlactic recently and all Almost all of them are 10 out of 10. It's pretty rare for that to happen to me, so thank you very much to the subscriber who told me about the Jello Bombs. For a while, you guys have been telling me about the Ami Cole lip treatment oils, and one person in particular was very, very passionate about this for a long time, I think like a year before I ended up buying one, and it's an absolutely beautiful beautiful formula. Ami Cole is a black owned, female owned beauty brand at Sephora. They make some incredible products, but the lip treatment oils are by far my favorite. And my favorite shade is Bliss. And in fact, it's not just my favorite shade, it's my favorite nude glossy lip, period. I don't think you know how big of a deal it is that I'm almost halfway through a tube of lip gloss. That does not happen to me. I have a huge collection of lip products. So that just goes to show how often I use this. I love to just put down a lip liner and then whack this on top for the most full and plushest and shiny lip gloss ever. It is so thick and a little bit sticky and that's great for me because it means it's really long lasting versus something like a super thin slip slidey lip oil. You know, I have thinner lips with no real lip border so products can kind of migrate outside my lip lines a little bit and that's why I tend to prefer something that has a little bit of grip to it and this is like the grippiest lip gloss I've ever tried while still being really nourishing, feeling more like a liquid lip balm meets a gloss. It also has what smells to me like a cotton candy smell. Although, ooh, interesting. I hadn't opened this in a few weeks. Actually, I have been trying so many lip products this month that I haven't tried this in a bit and it's starting to smell a little off, which is weird because I only bought this like in the winter time. So hopefully it's not expiring because that would be a huge bummer. One thing to note about this is if you don't twist the caps all the way and if you set it like this horizontally, it will leak out of the cap and then it'll get really sticky in your bag. So make sure to really twist that cap on tight and then you should have no problem. So that was the shade Bliss. I also I also love the shade Smitten, which is this beautiful, kind of sheer, but like medium sheer, hot pink. It looks more red in the tube, but on your lips, it really is like a hot, warm, neon pink. And it is just perfect for the spring and summer months. It makes me feel really young and fresh and youthful and pretty. And I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful color. I am forever grateful to the subscriber who told me to buy the Roman. Oh no. Why does this always happen? I'm forever grateful to the subscriber who told me to buy the Romand Glasting Melting Bombs. These are so incredible to the point where Roman is becoming like one of my favorite brands. I bought one of the Glasting Melting Bombs and now I have ended up with quite a few. I bought two of the Juicy Lasting Tints. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now I have 10 of them. So I'm either gonna do like a Roman lip formula video where I review every single formula from the brand, or I'm gonna do a K-Beauty haul, or maybe I'll review a bunch of different lip products from a bunch of different K-Beauty brands. Let me know in the comments, or maybe I'll do a poll on my community tab if you'd rather have a K-Beauty haul, a Roman brand video, or a K-Beauty lip product video. Those are the three ideas that are, I'm kind of running with right now. But anyways, the Roman Glasting Melting Bombs are fire. They are basically like the Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss lipstick bomb, 
bombs. They're like the uh, Galactic Jello gloss bombs in that they're super thick, super nourishing, really, really hydrating. And they do have a little bit of grip, but a little bit of a buttery quality to them as well. So I'd say they're most similar to the Galactic Jello gloss bombs, but these have a delicious smell. I can't put my finger on what it is, but it is like maybe like a juicy peach candy. Yeah, a peach candy maybe sounds accurate to me. I love the smell of these. It's delicious. And the colors are absolutely beautiful. I honestly use every single shade equally, which is quite shocking for me. It's great that these are pretty affordable and I think you can get them on like Stylevana, Yes Style. You can get them on the Roman website. I think Amazon as well. So a lot of places where you can pick these up. Do not sleep on these. They are so good if you like a glossy, thick, nourishing kind of lip balm with also, by the way, a pretty high amount of pigment. Definitely more pigmented than the Galactic Jello gloss balm. So absolutely loving these. Kind of have to have one in my purse at all times. Back on the Vive train, the Vive lip dew is recommended to me by so many people and I see why. By the way, I filmed a Vive brand review where I reviewed a ton of products from them. They quickly became one of my all-time favorite beauty brands for just beautiful, timeless, high-performing products, beautiful formulas with great shade ranges and lots of pigment. I just think that they're a fantastic, really thoughtful brand and it's totally reinvigorated my love for Jamie Genevieve. The lip dews are beautiful. They have this like high shine, glass-like finish on the lips and my favorite shade is Cherub. It's a warm, hot pink. What I love about this one in particular is it has a pretty good amount of pigment to it. I don't love the other ones in the range because they're really sheer. I find they just mostly look like a clear lip gloss and I really go for products that have more of a punch of color these days, but I just really love the way that this looks on the lips and how shiny it is, the way that the color really brightens up my face. It makes me feel beautiful. It makes me feel really summery and fresh. And I just love how thick and cushiony and nourishing it is. It really seems to kind of glide over the lips and fill in the lip lines. The only con about this product, in my opinion, ooh, yeah, the, the scent is like a very strong uh, artificial caramel. And when I say strong artificial, I mean strong artificial. It's kind of hard to ignore. So I wish that it had just been like a soft vanilla or no fragrance at all. But honestly, I love it so much. It disappears pretty quickly. Quickly, it's not a big deal. Speaking of strong fragrances, the last product is the Give by Gwen Stefani Bubble Pop Electric Gloss in All My Love. I was planning this video and I realized I haven't reached for this in such a long time because I have just been falling in love with so many lip products lately that my kind of ride or dies have been falling a little bit behind. They've been a bit neglected. This is a gorgeous lip product. It is the same shade as the Fit Glow Lip Serum in Gospel, which is one of my all-time favorite colors. It's like a warm pinky berry, so it's romantic. It just makes me feel like it's the li it's the lip color I wish I was born with basically. It does have a very strong cupcake smell, like vanilla cupcake. Personally, I enjoy it and it's a particular kind of cupcake that's very nostalgic. It's almost like Dunkaroos or something like like vanilla Dunkaroos, but it is strong. Uh, so just be aware of that. I think it's an incredible gloss formula. I wish this came in other shades. I think the shade range is a little funky, but this is the one that I really love and yeah, I hope more people try this cuz it is a kind of thicker lip gloss like most of my favorite lip products are. And it does have a little bit of grip to it, a little bit of a tacky finish. So it's a longer lasting gloss, which is great, but it's not sticky. It does feel balmy. So wonderful recommendation from you. Thank you so much for all of your recommendations. Let me know in the comments section, what am I missing? What products do you really think I would like? What products do you want me to try and review? You've done such a great job recommending products to me. I can't wait to try more. Stay tuned for part two of the video where I'll talk about all the products that influencers convinced me to buy. And if you want to keep watching my content, I'll leave a video on the screen you can click. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really encourages YouTube to promote our channels and it makes all the work worth it. And wherever you are, I hope you're having an awesome day. I'll see you in the next one.